you are really the great Tory name. And I haven't even met the other Tory name. I don't even know if they're... You know, the Bible says, in all of our ways acknowledge Him. And have him in ever ever thought is the idea that uh, the Bible is talking about and uh, that means that means even in our dreams uh, I remember when the Lord first told me um, that he wanted to be in every part of my life and I was honest with God I said Lord, I don't know if I could handle that because, you know, I love to be in his presence on Sunday. Love to sing about him. and uh, But, you know, I was being honest. I didn't think I could do that because, you know, I had to, I felt like I had to give my human part of me some rest away from so much uh, purity. And uh, uh, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And I, and I did. And what I found was that that even though I thought I would be more uncomfortable with what was going on in my life, I found that it had the opposite effect that I thought it would have. Um, God helps straighten out my thoughts when he or he's in them. Even in my dreams, like I was saying before, a friend of mine at work said, uh, he don't think you could uh, control your dreams. Well, you know, the Bible tells us in Romans 12 and 2 to to uh, train our thoughts uh, or train our mind well the, your mind is what you dream with you know and uh, uh, that, that's a part of that and it says in one place every idle every idle word shall be spoken for um, and the Lord told us that if a man lusts after a woman uh, he's committed adultery already in his heart and I believe that's even in, in our dreams because of the implications that it has. Because uh, the foundation of who we are comes out in our dreams. Your dreams can tell you a lot about yourself. And uh, uh, I, this, um, I've learned to um, control my dream somewhat now I'm still not perfect at it but I've learned myself I guess in my subconscious I've learned myself to uh, call on Jesus and uh, in my dream sometimes uh, every once in a while um, if a bad dream pops up uh, a couple times I pointed right at the ugly critter in the dream and I said uh uh, something like stop in Jesus name or or something of that nature and and I use the, the Lord's name anyway every time I I do that in my dream the dream instantly stops there's no more to the dream it's so the dream's just over and uh, I think that we're able to even when we're watching movies we watch we watch movies and we uh, are in our idle thoughts. Boy, movies, boy, we get carried away. Uh, I gotta watch what kind of movies that I uh, let myself watch because I'll be mad and killing right along with the guy on the television in my heart, and I'll be. Uh, um, watching some uh, wrong things and well if you're not careful you'll some lady run across there and uh, half dress and all that kind of stuff and, uh, you'll find yourself on the you know like the uh, 
world is today, you'll find yourself on the wrong side really quick. But I, I believe that with all my heart that we can control what we think. I think that's what love is all about. Love is about control. And I, I believe love is a choice that we choose who we love. It's uh, you, you fall into lust, you choose who you love. And uh, I choose uh, what I want to train my mind with. And uh, I like to watch Monk. As a matter of fact, I'm watching it right now. And I think I'll watch a little bit more of it. And uh, you folks think about what I said. You know, study on it. Work, uh, uh, work your way out between you and the Lord. You'll find that... Uh, God is better to you than what you really thought that uh, he would. And the Ten Commandments, they're all about helping you. They're not about hurting. The Lord came and uh, he said he didn't come to destroy the commandments, but fulfill. And uh, that's exactly what we do. We fulfill. Uh, we have the Spirit of Christ, Romans 8 9. And uh, we're fulfilling those things, just like Christ did. Yeah, I'll catch you later. I want to see what's happening with my hair.